Hello, uh, since I lost my save game, kind of, um, not really lost, it is uh, in the Steam cloud, but I cannot use it with my updated version and I do not want to play without the updated version, that's why the save game practically is lost. So I'm going to start a new game now and um, I'm using the mod because now there's eight votes or seven votes and this means eight factions including me for what the difficulty should be uh, so I need the mod to have enough factions okay we have one faction as random we have two factions as very hard we have three factions at hard I should have picked hard so I don't have to click as often and someone even wanted medium and um, I'm thinking is a medium sized word big enough for eight factions? I think it is. I don't want to move up to the large word. Medium is okay. In aggression very high, okay, virtual everything okay, good. Let's start. And oh we got one of the two overpowered factions. Let's start with two colonizers. That can only happen in the mod, of course, because this is uh, one of the factions from the mod. They are hard to play against, but if you get them, the game is a bit easier. But it is doubtful it will be enough for the um, when there are very hard AIs in the game. Okay, the starting location looks quite good, and there is another faction already scouted. Um, I could try to rush them with my starting unit, my tamed Gallop, which is abusing my faction's advantage to the maximum. I will found right there. Mm, and I also have to find a location for the second colonizer. Uh, since I found right there, I can start building a mine. And the tamed garlet will start. Oh, this will be even more powerful because the tamed garlet can also occupy one of these units. They. What? Accept trading pact? Eh? Have I offered the trading pact? Or what? Okay, I will not offer a research pack. No. Maybe I clicked right I have to watch this in the in the recording. It might have been a bug. And there will not be a non aggression pack, of course. So colony established and the second colonizer I'll send it down here with the and they praise me. Good. Worker grows and this two turns to grow. Okay. Research. First colony ship dismantling. Where is it? Here. Right in the upper left. And we can end the turn. It has taken long enough. So I want to get this unit to rush harder. And mm, Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like there is a good spot to colonize down there, so I will scout into this direction. Doesn't look like a good spot either, so I maybe scout should scout in this direction. But maybe there is not a good spot either. Okay, don't fly away too far. I want to capture you. Good. Now I just have to heal both units, and then probably it's too late to rush. I don't know. Uh, here we have a crystal, and here's some tiles that could give me a good amount of food. 
But other than that, this location is not that great. Hmm. A city just for food? I don't know. Anyways, I'll wait for the city to grow to size 3 before I found the second city. Okay, is it faster to go back to the city? 1, 2. That's 2 turns for this guy. Then he will heal up in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 turns. And he'll be back here in two additional turns. So no, I do not. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to move up to there. Well, I should found here. Then I can later get these tiles into my area as well. But it's not a really good location, to be honest. Maybe I should just spend more time searching. But without naval transport logistics, uh, here's a hive. And here's another hive. And it will take quite some time to get down to there. Okay, the former is done. And there really is nothing else to use the former for right now. There's a uh, forest on all the other tiles and I would have planted forest on all the other tiles anyways right now because <coughs> this center and this tile give me the two mineral fields that I need for now. I don't need any more. And hmm. Here's another bonus resource, so this tile is not that bad. I'll skip the turn so I can found next turn. Colony ship dismantling. Good. Let's build it. Mm, shall we stick with this configuration? Okay. Let's get the second city. It's right now it's not a good position, I have to admit. So oh the former it can go over here and plant a forest. Hmm, should I plant forest right now? Or better build a farm? I should build a farm and a forest. Okay. Mm, there really is nothing I can get other than this. But let's research something. I need the biogenetics. It's very powerful for my faction because uh, for them they have a reduced production cost of this thing. So to sweet their expansionism, the building that gives flat resources is cheaper. Okay, nothing happened this turn, oh, but this turn something happened. So, let's get a trooper here as well. Okay, first unit is healed up. And so far they only have their starting unit, which should enable me to easily rush the city with my imbalanced faction so it's not really a weakness of the AI or me being particularly good and ah, crap <laughs> right when I say it they finish uh, their second unit I should not have captured this one um Maybe I can kill them anyway. I will try to kill them anyways. Come on. Declare war. Yes. It must be. Oh. Wow. Why the heck did I take so much damage? From a spy. 
I <sighs> bad decision making. Why didn't I check first how much um, your has minus twenty five percent power against biological units? This might very well be a no wait. This unit it has plus ten percent power. Okay. So city and headquarters added, and maybe they added the same for the spy. At least they can't spy me now. Ha ha ha! What a great. Uh, that's not really helping. Yeah, this guy's not healed up yet. It doesn't make much sense to. I cannot even cover the other unit so it can heal. Uh, what shall I do? Well, I'll move over here and yeah, just gonna get over there. Hmm, I might have picked a bad opponent. It. it how they got another unit in one turn this could mean they are very hard actually but I can't say for sure yet it's it's too early in the game you can see it very well later but not that early because their gross advantage doesn't kick in so early because I could also do the gross start which they also do of course since they know about it I taught them Okay, at least I have a unit now to defend myself. And I'll get a forest over here. And this unit. Yeah, I, I need it here. Oh yeah, training facility. Uh, let's actually increase my production output. I'm at war. Uh, okay, training facility and this will give me stronger units. I'm also building this uh, next turn. I will move it in between for both of the cities. And I want to prevent that this thing is built without a barracks. So I will move the recycling tanks and the training facility in front of it. Mm, I'll run out of minerals relatively soon anyways let's see shall I do it like this no I'll do it like that mm, this city is better suited for research but right now they have lower pollution so it's better for them to produce more what else do I need I need this to make my unit stronger uh, the good thing is that they most likely do not know where I am yet. Mm. The question is, should I make peace with them or not? Okay, I got the armor. I think it might be possible to make peace once 10 turns have Past, but it's not that far. So they have a poor economy, but a massive, massive troop formations. Yeah, they killed both of my units, and I killed only one of theirs. And where's the flamethrower? Okay, I can get it without getting the damage evasion which I also kind of want to have okay I'm out of minerals and I finished the barracks now I can get a better trooper I can also upgrade the old one but I'm not sure if I should do this right now. Mm, I need to get some minerals.
Okay, this city does not have a pollution problem anymore. It can also get minerals from one tile. Mm, I can probably build a road between my cities now. There's nothing else to do. Okay, seeing that their city already is size 7 and I have a combined size of 5, I would indeed guess that they might be of a very high difficulty level. But they are for peace, which I will accept for now. Especially considering it says they have massive troop formations. But I probably am in for trouble with them as my neighbors unless I can find someone else who helps me with them and I see the city is not even defended yet I have some more time with the aliens uh, this faction also has minus 20% alien aggression and minus 20% reduced pollution What shall I get? Pandora construction probably. Or adaptive fortification first. I might forget it later. Ah, uh, this is really good. It unlocks a lot of useful technologies. Another one for expanding. Have I designed a new unit yet? No, not here. Workshop. Yes, I have. So this will be helpful. They are denouncing me. I reject. Okay, I can upgrade this guy to a flamethrower yielding one and I'll send one over there so that something is in the city. Oh, uh, I could also try and scout, um, but I'll get another one of those, and then I'll focus more on science. Uh, they want tribute, and they are furious. They might declare war even if I pay, so I reject. Okay, they did not declare war. I could, I should have paid probably. It's, it would still have been relatively cheap, 60 credits, uh, since I have 6 population. Okay, they expand their borders. Yes towards me starting with eight factions on a medium sized map can actually have the problem that the map is really uh, crowded and I'm quite close to my neighbor so I don't need modular housing anytime soon mm, Pandora construction is always good Where are the tanks? I can't see them. Yeah, heavy war machinery, there they are. I have to go to the orbital reconnaissance to get the tanks. Uh -uh. And they offer a non aggression pact, I accept. Oh, they have low military strength now. That's why they offered the non-aggression pack. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, a refining array. I will definitely get it.
might want to kill off this hive, but with only one unit, I don't see it happening. Oh. The aliens attack. Yeah, maybe I can level a bit by killing those. This one might come and flank me, and I might lose this unit if I now stay here, so I'll go back here. Oh, the aliens are aggressive now and are stepping in my territory. Can they get them to the city? I'll send them to the city now. I should probably get even more units. No! Ah, oh, well. It was only a very weak unit. I didn't upgrade it. Couldn't be bothered, so I now lost it. Did I? Okay, yeah, there's this other unit underneath. So now the military is solid once again, since I lost a bit. Maybe they have suffered some losses to aliens as well. Mm, could be it, yes. Okay, my inner mineral income just increased. Mm, the city does not really need more production that badly. Mm, I'll get this trooper. It is not well equipped, but it will be level 3, so I can upgrade it. And it will still be useful. Mm, I might want to go for quantization first, which would also give me titanium armor, and then increase my research speed. Otherwise, it will be a little difficult to keep up with the is this faction. I think they even start with a laboratory which I'm researching right now and they probably have already built it. Um, I actually wanted to build this thing over there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I will reduce the work account in favor of scientists and just build another colonial trooper. Okay, this unit can now be upgraded. And I do not really need the mining array yet. Uh, I will eventually get it. I mean, it's worth two minerals anytime, but right now it probably is not the most important thing. Okay, they offer to share maps. Uh, well, maybe them not knowing where I am is the only thing. Nah, their military is too weak. Uh, I, but what could they, what could they even offer? I mean, nah. There is not much. And nah, now they hate me for the rest of the game just because I declared war on them. Come on. I mean, it's not necessarily th uh, true. There are mechanisms to increase your, for example, paying tribute. If they ask the next time, I, I will consider it. So I can probably get out of the cellar of being hated by them. But I still kinda want to conquer their city. I mean, it's not a great city, but it's an okay city. And it's quite big. Mm. The border will expand over there, so I can already 
build a farm right there. Hmm. I could take this unit to scout out. Yeah, there's a ruin. I didn't even. Did I not? I mean, I kind of need this. Okay, now I will pay the tribute. And hopefully, this will improve the relations enough so that maybe trading and stuff will be uh, possible long term. I don't think they will agree to a trading pack even. Let's follow how it changed. It still says furious. I'm not so sure about it. Maybe they were like super furious. Um. Couldn't really hurt to get another one. I need to research more buildings. Yeah, I, I already am researching the building, I think. The research building, right? Yes, four turns. So if this becomes finished, I could even cut back on the miners. Yeah, I can totally leave the miner out and still have enough minerals because I have two of the recycling tank and one refining array. So what shall I do with this? Nothing. So where do they want to expand to? There. Don't I have Pandora construction? No, I'm just constructing it. Mm hmm Now yeah, I can build more roads also. I don't really know what else to do with this former right now. I mean I could mine these hills. Yeah. Why not? Let me mine these hills. Don't know if they will stay mined forever. Okay, I'm running out of food now. But I have prepared for this occurrence by building a farm on this plane and on this one as well. I might want to research the farming thing after. Yeah, I'll do it. And I also want to get the tanks. Gibson base. One thing that's good uh, is that they don't have a whole lot of minerals, <coughs> but right now I don't have a whole lot of minerals either. I will have aquatic maxalon once my borders expand, so this problem will be solved. And then I should, I probably can get ahead of them. They now have two mines. Is this a yeah? That's a hill too. So this also gives them plus two, so they can potentially mine six minerals. Plus two from the uh, okay. It's quite a lot actually. If you consider everything, they are not that mineral deprived. Okay, I can now build the lab, and it takes twelve turns, which is really long. I increase the production for that. So what about here? Um, if I increase the production here, I will be getting pollution, which I don't really want. So I'll just let them finish it up slowly. But I might